All right, so 2021 is coming up, and hopefully it's gonna be a little bit better than 2020. However, recently, uh, Kink and Sunday both released their 2021 bike lines, and I took a real good look at both of them. I finished all the reviews about Kink's line, and now I'm starting to work on Sunday's line. But before I finished up Sunday's line, I wanted to make a little video um, kind of outlining the whole bike line and talking about each bike just for a little bit. So then from there, if you wanna take a deeper look at each bike, you'll have to go check out an in-depth review on my website, and hopefully you find one that's perfect for you. Now, I'm gonna quit rambling because I filmed this already, but it was like, 40 minutes long. Nobody wants to hear me ramble for 40 minutes. However, real quick, I have some stickers, okay? And uh, it's only one little sticker sheet, but I spent some money on them and I wanna give them away to you. So all you have to do is just leave a comment on the video and tell me which one of these bikes was your favorite and why. And then I'm gonna pick a few people and I'll send you a sticker sheet and maybe some other goodies. We'll see what I can, uh, what I can figure out. Sticker sheet for sure. So make sure you do that and let's get right into it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna list out each individual bike and then I'm gonna bounce back to each one and talk about it just a little bit more in depth. So I'll go over like the overview, the weight, the price, and essentially who it's designed for, like what kind of rider should get it. So I'm gonna start off the 2021 Kink Curb, the 2021 Kink Launch, the Kink Gap. Now this is one of those bikes that they offer an XL version and a free coaster version. So there's the Gap XL, the Gap Free Coaster, the 2021 Kink Whip, the Kink Whip XL, the Kink Cloud, the Kink Switch, and the Kink Williams, which is their pro level bike. <music> 2021 Kink Curb, let's talk about it. It is, if I can find it, $289, so it's right under 300. This, it's full high tensile steel, right? It's not chromoly, um, let's see, 8.75 bars, kink hemlock pedals, kind of an aftermarket pedal, mission control stem, lower quality uh, mission stem. So where I'm getting at with this is that I just went through and a big question that comes up a lot is, are elite bikes good? They've kind of hit the scene recently, became real popular. And so I, I looked into it, right? And on Amazon, one of their bikes is selling that's a similar quality to this bike. Um, honestly, I'd say it's a little less. Let's see. No, this is unsealed bottom bracket. I don't know, I'd say similar quality, right? And the elite bike is selling for $330 where this kink bike is selling for 289. However, kinks like a real company, they pay riders, they support the BMX dream, like they, they sponsor events, they do so much for the community, right? And the fact that like their bike's $50 cheaper than this, this brand that I can't even find who owns it. Like I spent two hours looking and you can't even find the owner. So anyway, there, there I go ranting again, but that makes me angry and this bike's only $289. Do with that information what you will. Um, it weighs 27 pounds. All right, it comes in four different colors. So the 2021 Curb is available in four great colorways. Offers the entry level rider a bike that looks and feels like a pro model without the price tag. Whether you choose matte dust black, matte orange flake, gloss smoked fuchsia, or gloss ocean gray, you're getting an amazing bike. Featuring modern geometry and outfitted with components such as the 8.75 Kink T85 bars, three-piece chromoly cranks, raised mission control top load stem. Top loads feel a lot different than front loads. I like it. Uh, soft Kink Paragon grips with the push-in bar ends. Nobody cares. 
uh, 2.4 inch tires front and rear. The curb is perfect for any rider looking for a solid first bike. And now let's transition into which kind of rider it's for. Just like they said, um, beginner rider looking for a solid first bike. It's going to be for somebody who might get like a an elite bike or a low-end Walmart bike or something like that. But this person wants to get just a little bit better quality and something that has better geometry because the geometry on this is set up to help you progress faster where the other ones are just like cheap basic geometry. It's, it's a, a lot different. And then this bike's definitely not for a mid-level rider or someone who can do like a decent amount of tricks. If you plan to be jumping down stair sets and doing tail whips, this isn't the bike for you. I know it's cheap, it's going to bend, it's going to break, it's going to be a bad time. However, if you want to learn tricks, this is a good bike to start on. All right? All right, next is the 2021 Kink Launch. This bike is $329, so it's about $50 more than the Kink Curb, and it steps up the quality just a little bit. Um, it comes in three different colors, and it weighs 26 pounds and four ounces. The top tube is a short 20.25 with a longer 13.25 chainstay, and this is good for shorter riders, obviously. The overview says, the 2021 launch continues the legacy of a truly remarkable bike. This bike is still one of the best valued priced models in the market, hands down year after year. Available in matte dust black, gloss digital lime, and matte truffle brown colorways, the launch pairs its great color selection with even better components. It's equipped with both a sealed integrated headset, sealed mid bottom bracket, which drastically improves performance, performance and uh, virtually eliminates maintenance of these components. Um, it's a rookie's dream. The kink launch is essentially for a rider who is still at that beginner level, very similar to the curb, but they think they might stick with the sport a little longer or they just don't want to have the headache of loose bearings. If you've never experienced loose bearings, let me tell you, they're not fun. Chances are uh, on a bike with loose bearings, you're going to take the cranks apart and bearings go everywhere. It's 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 a pain, honestly. So just spending that extra $50 for that added amount of quality is good. And then going with the 20.25 top tube, let's see, that's for someone who's gonna be 5.3 to 5.9. So the 2021 kink gap. It's a versatile machine ready to handle anything that you throw at it. Featuring modern geometry, the frame, forks, and bars add 4130 Kromali into the mix. So this is where things get interesting um, because Kromali is so much better than high tensile steel. So much better. It's available in matte bone white and gloss black. Components found on the gap take things up a notch and are not to be missed. Not only will it look the part, but it's got 9-inch kink bars, kink striker forks, kink bold HRD stem, sealed mission engage cassette, kink ridge three-piece cranks, Kermali cranks. Um, the frame geometry brings a lower bottom bracket and a raised standover height for the gap, so it's going to make it feel a lot more stable and a little bit better for like flowy park or more flowy street riding. It's $399, and then it comes with a chromoly head tube, top tube, and down tube. On the gap review I did for 2020, so many people argue with me because it says 100% 4130 chromoly on there, right? But then it, it says adds chromoly into the mix. It's not a full chromoly frame. Like, I can promise you that, especially the 2020 was more sneaky about it, which is a red flag. However, this one, still, Kermali, it's Trimali essentially. This is good, because it adds that up a notch, right? It's less than $500, right at $399, and then it's got a 20.5 inch top tube, which is good for people who are around 5.3 to 5.9. 
uh, just like the other bike, you can kind of figure out what your style of riding is and then adapt to it. Like the chainstay is 13.25, which is longer than normal. They do this again because it, like the stability that it talked about, you want to feel comfortable on the bike and you don't want anything too responsive. So that's what that does. Now it weighs 26 pounds and 13 ounces, real close to 27 pounds. The Gap also comes in a, a free coaster and an XL version like I mentioned before. I'm not going to like go in depth about e each of these because essentially they're the same. The only difference is the free coaster has a sealed mission free coaster and then the XL version has a 21 inch top tube instead of the 21 or er, instead of the 20.5. The Kink Whip is going to be about $40 more than the Kink Gap, however, it steps it up to full Kermali. And honestly, if you're on the fence about the Gap or the Whip, um, the only reason to choose the Gap would be for the free coaster. Because if you can spend an extra $40 and get the Kermali dropouts, that's going to save you so much money in the long run. Because what happens with the Trimali frame is the back ends high tensile steel and when you start learning 360s um, down things you know or just constantly even 180s constantly putting that pressure um, of the rotation on the frame that back end bends and it, it's going to eventually get to a point where you need to buy a new frame so if you just step it up to full Kermali that's going to prolong the life of your frame and to me that's super important to get something that lasts however I don't know, the Gap is super popular, maybe a lot of people don't know this, that they think the Gap's full Kermali, I don't know. Anyway, the Kink Whip, full Kermali. The Whip is where our line gets really exciting. This beast is constructed using full 4130 Kermali throughout the entire frame, forks, and handlebars. Complementing the strong durable structure are sealed bearings everywhere, headset, bottom bracket, both front and rear hubs. The front rim also has been upgraded to the Mission Mylar, um, topping off with great functionality. It comes in one color, which is matte granite charcoal gray. No, matte granite charcoal. Okay, gray essentially. Um, so this has the full Kermali, it has the double wall rims, and it has the fully sealed bearings. Overall, this is a really good bike, and it's under that $500 price point. Now the Kink Whip weighs 27 pounds and 10 ounces. Now this rider is definitely for a mid-level rider. Um, the way I'd kind of think, think about it is if you've had a bike before, a low-end bike, and you got to the point where you're progressing and your parts are starting to break, like maybe you're doing 180s downstair sets, um, you're trying bar spins, you're trying tail whips, things like that. Uh, this is a good bike to upgrade to. As a starter bike, it's eh, it's a little overkill unless you have like dreams of becoming pro and you want to get a decent bike that's going to stay with you for a long time. If you just want to test out the sport, this bike's going to be too much for you. I'd recommend getting something cheaper. But if you're already in it, you're already trying tricks, this bike's perfect. The 2021 Kink Switch is definitely my favorite so far this year. Granted, there's like five to six brands that haven't done their 2021 line. I've only looked over Kink and Sunday, but this bike has like just the quality that they put into it for $500 is super rare. Last year, the Colt Devotion was my favorite mid-level bike uh, for 2020. This year, I have a feeling it's going to be the Switch. Granted, I haven't seen Colt's line, so maybe the Devotion is going to be better. I don't know. It has the full Kermali, the double wall rims. It has everything that the previous bike had. It's designed more for street riders, and it's going to be a lot better, a lot easier to progress with street riding. An all new model for 2021, the Kink Switch is truly a standout bike in our lineup. Designed as a brakeless bike, the Switch also includes removable brake mounts, a full brake set for those who want to ride brakes. The Switch doesn't disappoint in its design or components either. It features 100% 4130 Kermali construction and sealed bearings throughout the bike. The addition of two plastic pegs means it's grind ready right out the box. 
The unique matte gravity purple colorway is paired all black parts, a raw stem, and then it also has a free coaster. I don't think they mentioned. Let me check. Yeah, yeah. Mission deploy sealed free coaster. Uh, the double wall mission mylar rims, the kink bolt stem, the nine inch bars. That's what I ride. Uh, paired with the, the top load stem, the nine inch bars are going to feel a little bit taller and it's really comfortable. And then it comes with two pegs. Not many bikes. A Fiend comes with pegs like almost all their bikes do. Um, but other than that, not many complete bikes are going to come with pegs. And in my opinion, pegs are a ripoff and they're super expensive. They're just, you can't justify $20 for one peg. I don't get it. I've never bought pegs. The, I get pegs from people giving them to me and like my friends or whatever, because I won't buy them. They, I, anyway, I'm going to rant on about that forever. So it's good that this comes with pegs because then you don't have to buy them for an outrageously overpriced price anyway it's a 20.75 inch top tube and a 12.75 inch chainstay now real quick before i run out of time and my camera shuts off this bike is for a mid-level rider or a high level rider realistically you could be either um but for a beginner it's too much i i don't recommend this for a beginner because you need a, a cheaper bike to kind of learn the sport and then ultimately progress into a better bike. If you're already doing tricks like 360s, 180s, bar spins, whips, or you want to learn those tricks and you're right there trying them, this is a good bike because it's going to hold up to some crashes, some bike throwing. It's a little bit expensive. I think it's right at five and that's a pretty decent price. Like a lot of parents are going to spend around that for Christmas or for birthdays. So you should be able to convince your parents, mom, this is an awesome bike. I'm a street rider, buy it for me. All right, almost done. Next, second to last is the 2021 Kink Cloud. Now this is a borderline pro level bike. Um, it's Travis Hughes signature bike and the color is ugly in my opinion. Let me know if you disagree. Anyway, the Kink Cloud is pro team rider Travis Hughes new signature bike. If you've seen Travis ride, you know there's just about nothing he can't do on a bike. Almost had a stroke reading that. The Cloud is based on his personal geometry preferences. Component wise, the Cloud has got you covered with the included four plastic pegs, rear free coaster, gloss translucent teal fade colorway. In addition, it's got the full 4130 chromoly frame and forks. It features an amazing list of components like the Kink Rex bars. These are aftermarket bars, Mission Dispatch free coaster wheel, the Mission Targa plastic pegs. So all in all, it comes with a, a pretty decent list of aftermarket components. And again, I think this is awesome because it's going to last with you. And this is one of the bikes that it's really easy to buy. And then as something breaks or over time, you slowly replace it with different parts so that ultimately you have a fully custom bike. Uh, the Kink Cloud is $600. So it's about a hundred more than the Kink Switch, but it has well over a hundred dollars worth of quality. It comes in that gloss translucent teal that I don't like. Um, 21 inch top tube with a 13.25 inch chainstay. So it's going to feel a little less responsive than the switch and a lot more flowy. However, it still comes with the free coaster, comes with four pegs, so it's a really good street bike. And the Kink Cloud weighs 27 pounds and five ounces. Now the Kink Cloud, I classify it as a, a high level to pro level bike. This bike has a handful of aftermarket parts thrown into it. It starts off with the really good um, full chromoly frame, bars, forks. So it's got everything that you need to last you as you progress. If you are a brand new rider, again, don't spend your money on it unless it's to flex on your friends. Now being 21 inch top tube, this is good for taller riders who have a decent bag of tricks. However, if you don't have $600 to spend, don't get it because it's, it's pretty fancy, you know? Hi. 
All right, last bike. My camera is just about to die, so I hope I can make it through. Um, it's the 2021 Kink Williams. Now, Kink says that it's the flagship model of their line and the only signature bike with Kink Pro Team rider Nathan Williams. It's got no compromises and it gets as close as it gets to Nathan's personal bike. So it's stacked with aftermarket parts and superior manufacturing and materials. The Williams bike is the best of the best in BMX, no question. The bright gloss mirror red colorway is truly unique and shows off the craftsmanship of the frame. Now I wouldn't say it's the best of the best because the Gary Young Soundwave Complete is like $1,200, but it's literally everything's aftermarket. But anyway, this is a really good bike. It costs $750. Now the frame features double butted top tube and down tube. It's, it's thicker where the welds go together. So that makes it a lot stronger than normal frames. It's paired with Kink Foundation two forks with a 26 millimeter offset. This is for really uh, responsive riding. Nose manuals will go whoop. Uh, aftermarket Kink Williams 9.25 inch rise heat treated bars. The impressive list continues with the Cinema Rewind 25 tooth sprocket, Cinema Sync half link chain, Cinema Williams 2.5 inch tires, and Cinema Martinez stem. The 2021 Williams also features a Kink Ridge 48 spline cranks, the Cinema ZX wheel set, and four nylon hub guards, four Cinema C4 pegs. It's got so much aftermarket parts, and this is awesome because it's going to have the quality that a pro would need to hop on it and shred. That's why this bike to me is classified as a pro level bike. It has everything you need. It comes with those hub guards, those pegs, cinema parts, which are super expensive, super high quality. So this is an awesome bike for a really high level rider. Um, let's see, so it's got a 21 inch top tube, again, making it for those taller riders, and then a 12.75 inch chain stay and a 75.5 degree head tube angle. Now these two things paired with the 26 millimeter offset on the forks make it really responsive. So it weighs 26.6 pounds. It's best for riders who are at a high level already that just want to complete that's not going to require any maintenance, not going to require any replacements. Um, maybe you had a mid-level bike and you just outgrew it. Like you progressed to the point where everything was breaking and now you're looking for something a little better. That's who this is gonna be for. All right, so that's the 2021 Kink line. I love almost all the bikes in here, except the Cloud, I hate the color, like really hate it. Um, other than that though, this is a really good line because it has a use, like each bike has a specific person that it's designed for. And I think that's really cool. No, it's all good. I have a lot of fun doing this guys. And if you enjoy it, you want to see more video reviews, uh, make sure you subscribe so that you see when I post a new one, I'm always working on them and God, I spend so much time on this doing the video reviews, the website reviews, riding my bike, and, but I love it so much. So I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to get you into the sport. Make sure you just reach out to me and ask any questions you have. And that's it. Don't forget, leave a comment, tell me which kink bike is your favorite, and I'll pick a few people. I'll send you guys a sticker sheet, maybe some more. I don't know, we'll see what I can do. So with that, have a great rest of your whatever day it is and thanks.